Okay, and so let's continue our plotting exercise. We will be switching to an exotic pair, taking a look at USD ZAR, Z A R, USD versus a South African RAN. Now, this one will make the dollar example a lot easier, okay? So let's plot on our major large quarter points. Keep in mind, think of a dollar. So we're going to plot on a level at 20. This will be a little bit off screen. Let me go to the weekly chart just to make sure we can see it. Oh, this is a four hour, no wonder. The daily. Okay, give me a second. All right, so there we are. So now we we are currently on the weekly chart. We're going to plot on our next thousand pip range of 19. Okay. So these are the coordinates. The next level down would be 18, which we can see that the market is currently uh, retesting. And we could go on to 17, we could go up to 21. However, for the purposes of this particular pair, we can leave it where we are, all right? And so now let's go back to the daily chart so we can do more of a drill down. Now, let's just say you came in, went into a store and you were purchasing something that cost you $18.50. But let's just say for whatever reason, you had $19 exactly. What would be the change? They would give you 50 cents, right? And so, in figuring out the halfway point between 18 and 19, one would simply use that same philosophy. And we're going to say that 1850 is what would be considered a major half point, but it's also technically a large quarter point because keep in mind, in that dollar, we have four quarters. All right. And so what is the large quarter point between 18 and 1850? That's that's not necessary. The large quarter point between 18 and 1850 would be 18.5. Right. So eighteen dollars and twenty five cents. All right. The large quarter point between 1850 and 19 would be $18.75, yes? Okay. Now, just a quick quiz here. How many pips are d projected between these black levels? If you guessed 1,000, that's correct. Now, we're not getting into micro pips, that conversation. The price levels are the price levels. And look at how when the market gave you a strong engulfing candle on this major large quarter point of 18, it went all the way up to 19. And look at how at 19, it gave you another engulfing candle and went all the way back down. So notice these levels. Okay, and currently the market yesterday went up to 18 exactly and plummeted. And we would also say that this is over uh, basically 250 pips. So that's how you could earn 250 pips in a day. All right. And so if we were to continue this down the chart, we would have a large quarter point at 1775. We would have one at 1750. And so for the purposes of this chart, because we would anticipate that now that the market has given us this aggressive level, out of the current thousand pip range that we can go ahead and draw on our next levels down here 1750 would be the major half point 1725 and finally on this chart we would take it all the way down to 17 17 dollars and that will be denoted by a thick black line now, you may be asking yourself, what is the benefit and isn't this support and resistance? However, the enlightened trader will start to notice a trend 
in the pattern of the price to use these psychological levels and anticipate the next move, okay? And so one would assume what most people will see is this large candle here and they may go ahead and sell it. And that could be, could be right, could be wrong, depending on where your targets are. However, what may be interesting is to find that once the market broke through this level, it retested, okay? And so that is our, that's plotting on the quarter theory levels on USDZR. And we'll continue. We have approximately four more pairs that we'll be taking a look at for the day.